Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. In today's episode, I'm going to be remastering my original video on control systems. What is a control system, you ask? Well, it is systems such as a science department, main engineering, or any other kind of system that helps uh, improve your uh, ability to uh, repair things, add officers, um, surveying, repairing, reaction speed, all that stuff to your ship that can provide bonuses accordingly. I made an original video back in April, uh, but as you know, I'm remastering all my current videos, and so today uh, I will be going through with that. Uh, good news as well, the temperatures are now back in human le living condition level, uh, and I'm having a great time with that. Um, so that means that tomorrow there should be an upload uh, for, the new, for the Let's Play series. I had a time where I wasn't uploading tutorials, now I am uploading tutorials and not uploading Let's Play at the moment. So you just can't you just kind of expect swing back and forth. I do apologize for being a little bit inconsistent. I do try my best, but you know, there's not a lot of time in the day to do things. Uh, so I'm coming out with this. Uh, I also got some feedback by some people who want to see more just me doing stuff and showing how it interacts and things for like that. So I in like my tutorial, so like in my uh, jump tutorial, um, you know, go, going on about uh, actually showing jumping through shit through things and, and doing stuff like that. Uh, I'll remember to keep that in mind and I will be implementing that coming forward. Um, I do want to keep these tutorials a little less edited, um, a little, honestly, a little less effort compared to my Let's Play series, just because they're supposed to be quick to the point and, you know, they give you the rough answer at the end of the day. Uh, my Let's Play series is supposed to be the, the series that, that's my flagship, it's supposed to give quality, it's supposed to, you know, do be the best of what this channel is. Um, and so think of that as the A series, and this is the B series. Um, it doesn't mean I don't care about both, uh, about this one, it just means that I put more prioritization into making sure that every little thing in the first one is better. So, uh, let's go into what we need to be going into today, which is going to be command systems. Uh, also, yes, please remember to uh, leave a comment or subscribe or like or whatever you can do to help out. It's hard time being in the world YouTuber and uh, all your support has really meant a lot. We just hit 500 subscribers like I think a few days ago, um, which is really, really awesome. 500 more be a thousand, which will be absolutely incredible. Um, and yeah, everyone seems to be really enjoying the video. So I'm, I'm super glad to be in this position. Uh, so let's go into it. So what is a command system? Uh, a command system is, as I said, a system that you can add to your ship that will improve uh, certain aspects of it, essentially. So you'll find them in sensors and control systems, and they can be various things, such as auxiliary control, flag bridge, main engineering, primary flight control, combat information center. They all have varying levels of tonnage and different characteristics. In, this was just added in C-sharp, so keep that in mind. In VB6, there was nothing of the sort. I think there was a flag bridge, but I do not believe there was anything else from when I last played. It has been like four months ever since C-sharp came out. So I'm going to kind of run through what each does for you. Um, and so I'm going to show you quickly how you would add them to your ship. So we have a exploration vessel, the Osiris, over here from my Let's Play series. And you can see that this, there's a little thing here that's, that says SCI. Now that means that there is a science department there. Then you have control rating. Control rating means the rank needed for the commander, right? So what's going to happen? Um, if, if I copy this design really quick, so where's the co copy class? Um, and I just remove the science department. Okay, that's going to go down to one. Okay. Now, it, that doesn't really affect things because for that control rating, you're going to need two of the rank or someone higher rank, right? So, for example, when you add that science department in, right? When you add the science department in, you're doing something that's not just, uh, you know, adding it. You're making it so that you'll now have a science officer. So if you put main engineering in, you're going to have a engineering officer. If you put a uh, tactical or a combat information, then you're going to have a tactical officer, right? Um, and so this will add up to the control rating of the vessel. Now, you can also increase the, the rank of the person by doing senior NCO, but the overall control rating you'll need is going to be accordingly two for them to be active. So that's kind of how it works. 
Now I'm going to run through what each does. So for assigned department, what it effectively does is it adds the officer that's assigned to the ship, that's the science officer, survey bonus to that ship. So you can have the commander and the science officer add both add their survey bonus. So it, it can actually be extremely useful in terms of stacking. So if you really want to get like your most out of your survey ships, what you want to do, put them in a survey command, get some uh, good surveys, then you want to make those ships have science departments and you want to add as best survey um, people as you can get. So if we go over here to this ship, we'll have a seat. We've got a science officer and they're going to add their survey bonuses accordingly. So we've got the commanding officer, science officer, and then you'd have tactical officer, you'd have all these things, which is really awesome. It's basically like Star Trek. At the end of the day, you're playing Star Trek. Um, and you can kind of have that assigned to people and you can even do this for RP or whatever the hell else you want to do. Now let's go and see what the other ones do. So we're going to go from the top. So auxiliary control um, is basically uh, a control that is is a, a, basically a reserve bridge. And you, and you can have an executive officer. So the idea is um, if you have the execs, and this will raise the minimum lowest racial rank, if you have that executive officer, um, if the commander dies or there's an issue with that, then he, then he can take over and the executive officer will add his bonuses accordingly. And if the bridge gets, you know, damaged or destroyed, then it will act as a secondary bridge. That's based on auxiliary controllers. Then we have combat information center. So this will improve the targeting of, uh, your weapons uh, and, and, and of your, of your, your systems and your weapons. And even, even basically it will add tactical officers, uh, bonuses to that so that's reaction speed that's um you know hit chance all, all these kind of things so if we go to like a tactical officer just to give you an idea of what you can actually get so if we if we come over here i'm sure we can find one um naval commander okay so they'll add their tactical bonus here, and then they'll add their reaction bonus, and, and that will improve the reactions and the ability to hit and stuff like that from the ships. So that is, that is something to keep in mind. Then we have uh, the flag bridge. The flag bridge basically is like the admiral of a fleet. So you have, let's say you have captains for your ships. Well, for a fleet, you'd have an admiral. So you designate your ship and you give it a flag bridge, and then that will be the overall commander of the fleet and that you'll be able to assign a separate fleet commander or an animal whatever the hell you want to call it to that ship and they will improve the overall reaction rating and the abilities by assigning its bone or the person's bonuses to the entire fleet um, as a whole and if the fleet has multiple these like bushes the most uh the most senior officer will be assigned to the fleet commander think of it as like if you have a vice admiral who's fleet commander and then an admiral on another ship comes in, well, the admiral's going to take over, obviously. So that's how that works. Then you have main engineering. Basically, it's like the combat information center or the auxiliary control, but instead, um, you have a chief engineer position, um, and they will help with damage control and maintenance uh, when, when dealing with things. So that can actually be pretty useful. And then you have primary flight control, which is for carriers. Uh, and this will apply a commander of the air group, and it will add an air group position, uh, as bonuses of fighter ability. So you notice how in the uh, commander stuff, if we go to uh, some of these guys, we have fighter combat, fire operations. They will improve your fighter operations, your fighter combat abilities for your fighters who are being launched from there. So that is really big thing. Basically, uh, if they're assigned to a certain mothership, then that will apply its bonuses accordingly if it's been docked there, and that's how that works, even if they're away from the mothership at the time. So that is basically what command systems are. Uh, pretty basic thing, uh, nothing really too special about it, but it's something definitely to consider and a really cool addition that you can do to your fleet. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed the episode. I'll see you next time. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.